What's the craziest butterfly effect that happened to you because of a small decision you made? I had to call my heart surgeon to give him my new insurances. I had only just gotten them because the person who had them had the flu and was not getting back to me. As soon as I got my numbers, I called surgeon the receptionist said, Oh, hey, we just had a cancellation for this Friday. Do you want it? Of course I wanted to get it over and not wait another month. Decided to take the open heart surgery cancellation appointment, a month before my actual appointment, and well, surgeon said that thank goodness I did because once he got a look inside, he realized I would not have survived to the original appointment date, so, if the insurance lady didn't have the flu, I would have gotten those numbers a lot sooner, and never gotten the offer to have the surgery when I did, someone else's flu saved my life. So a few years back, I lived in Nice, south of France, for a while, as a musician I would make a bit of extra cash busking, and one day, I figured I'd go and busk at the promenade d'Anglais by the sea, it's usually packed, and it's just a generally pleasant place to be, I set up, played a couple of songs and was doing pretty well and making a decent amount of money, then suddenly not one, but two of my guitar strings snapped, I even remember I was playing the scientist at the time. I was massively gutted and decided to cut my losses early. I stormed off home, by the station, in a bit of a sulk at having to restring my guitar and cutting short what was essentially one of my most productive days of busking since moving there. Literally one hour later, my phone starts to blow the f up with family and friends freaking out and asking if I was at the promenade. It was Bastille Day, 2016. The truck drove into the same crowd I was playing too killing 86 people, including my at the time GF's uncle, I had two other friends who were amongst the 458 injured, I moved home the next month because it was too much, and haven't been back since, it's hard to explain, sometimes I think I was super lucky, sometimes I just kind of cry and wonder why I was lucky and others weren't, it's surreal, and despite what people think, it's a truly horrible feeling. Watch 2 wants to be a millionaire and got so annoyed at the candidates not knowing a simple question about Katy Perry, that I applied, got in, got to play, won a lot of money, booked a holiday to a dream destination with that money, met my husband there, we now have a 1 year old son. I had to renew the sticker on my license plate a couple of years ago and really didn't feel like sitting in the waiting room by myself forever so I told my mom I'd take her out to dinner after if she came with me. The guy working at the counter turned out to be my mom's long lost biological brother. If she hadn't come with me I would have never known. About 10 years ago, there were no PC games to play so I tried using Windows XP's Movie Maker out of boredom. I didn't know that I'm going to enjoy it and take it seriously. Now, I'm currently working on a TV film production as a video editor. Clarification. I mean, there's no games that is installed with our computer back then. Out of university, looking for a job and exhausting all the online resources. On a whim, I looked in the career section in a print newspaper that was lying around in the house. We never subscribed to that paper. I don't know why it was even there. Got the job in a different city. Met someone who is now one of my best friends. Who introduced me to their friends. Who introduced me to their friends and so on. Until I was eventually introduced to my wife. If I'd found a job where I actually planned on working. There is absolutely no way I would have crossed paths with any of these people. When I was in 8th grade. 13 years old. I had a really long bus ride home so would pass the time by reading. One day I faced the very serious situation of nothing to read and a minute to grab something in the library, and for whatever reason I grabbed a book on astronomy. That book was amazing and grabbed me like nothing else had before. I remember being excited to realize every astronomer on earth was 13 years old once too, and that was a career you could actually do, even if you were from Pittsburgh. Anyway, today I am a professional astronomer who studies gigantic space explosions for a living. There was a lot of work to get from that moment to this one. But I'm always grateful that I picked up that library book. My husband he found out after 18 years that his mom's side of the family was Spanish, not Mexican. He found this interesting and changed his country to Spain on my space instead the US where he really was. Meanwhile in Australia, I was helping my friend find Spanish people to add as a friend as she was learning the language. I came across my now husband and decided to send him a friend request as well. 
We got along really well and met in person after 3 years. I've been together 11 years. Married for 7. If he didn't change his country to Spain, and only for a day or so, we'd never know each other existed. Made a last minute decision to go to a friend's divorce party and met my wife, under pressure from my sister, you're young, you need to have fun. I went out to a concert and then to a bar after, had this girl I barely knew wing woman meet a cute guy playing pool. Next thing you know I'm celebrating my 3 year wedding anniversary, I didn't want to go out that night but did due to pressure from my sister. He didn't want to go out that night, but his friend wanted to play pool, and I literally can't imagine my life now if I hadn't had that random girl wingman me. Our paths never ever would have crossed otherwise. Of course it took me a long time to admit to my sister her role in the whole thing. The older I get, the more I am constantly cognizant of the vast cascade of seemingly insignificant decisions and actions that led me to where I am. For example, a decision 25 years ago to change a refrigerator light bulb before going out resulted in my being at the wrong time and place so as to get mugged, which resulted in my decision to move out of the city I had been living in, which resulted in my meeting my wife, and from there to having all my kids and the whole shebang. I would have had a different whole shebang had I not changed that light bulb that afternoon, but the path to the present leads through that, and a thousand other, similarly trivial decisions. My existence, when my dad was about 20, he needed a phone number so he called the operator from a pay phone, she gave him the number, he hung up, and she accidentally refunded the money back to the pay phone, she called the pay phone back and asked him if he could put the money back in, which he didn't hung up again, she accidentally refunded the money again and had to call back again to ask him to put the money back in, he didn't hung up again, she was so flustered. She refunded the money again and called back again and my father got to chatting with her and got her number. They set up a date, which she stood him up for. Then she forgot his name when he called her again. Then they actually got coffee and 4 years later were married. This coming August it'll be 50 years for them. If my dad didn't need that phone number, I wouldn't be here. I sent a friend from secondary school, who I had a huge crush on. A message saying happy birthday a couple years after we left school. Did the whole wheel have to catch up soon? Thing. Not expecting much. He replied with how about Monday? I saw him that Monday for a coffee. Next month will be our 6th anniversary. Best thing that ever happened to me. My friends joke I'm queen of escaping the friend zone. I finished working half an hour earlier and I was sent home by my boss. An old friend. On holy day in our hometown texted me out of the blue and asked me if I could pick up her American friend because she could not make it in time and I was the only one who spoke English, took a shower, shaved my head, picked her up, and 10 months later I married her. Was going to couple with my aunt a family gathering. At the last minute I decided to go by myself so I could leave early if I wanted. It was a ways out of town and I didn't want to be stuck there. On the way there she drove off the road into a ditch. She was okay but the passenger side of her car was totally smashed in. Four years ago a kid I barely knew from school invited me to Six Flags. I was a bit of a loner at the time and I heard rumors about this kid being weird. So I intended to not go. On the day he wanted me to go. I was feeling extra bored and decided on a whim why not. So I went and met this kid and two of his friends I've never met at a Six Flags. Four years later and that kid is my best friend. And I have three other very close friends I met through him. Not only that, but I also met my first girlfriend because of the connections some of my new friends had. It transformed my high school years from being alone to having an amazing group of friends I could do almost anything with. I intended to ask my best friend to be my best man one day, and I don't intend on ever getting out of touch with any of them. I'm home from college now, and we are going to have a lot of fun together. Best decision I've ever made. My desire for pizza set off a chain reaction that destroyed my family. One day got home from school and really wanted pizza. Family was poor so spontaneous food trips weren't always in the cards. Really worked my pouty face to my mom and begged to go to the local pizza place for dinner. She said alright. While chilling there I saw my uncle walk by. And I was like dar f. Uncle X is that you? Now you might say well he wanted pizza what's the big deal? Well he lived several states away so to arbitrarily be in town and not tell anyone was strange. Turned out he was having an affair with his sister-in-law my aunt on the other side of the family. 
she was basically a money grubbing whore and the family protested. One thing led to another and everyone hates each other now and we haven't had contact in like 20 years. I just wanted some pizza. I was always super flirty with the girl from HR, but we were always seeing other people don't date at work so when she left the company I was bummed. A year or two later a co-worker asked me to search my email archives, that was a thing back then, for something he needed. I ended up stumbling across the farewell to my work friend's email from HR girl and she sent it from her personal email address. I reached out to her, we had coffee, then a date, then many dates, then I love yous and I put a ring on it asap. 12 years later, extremely happily married, 2 goofy kids, 2 evil cats. And she still puts up with my bullsh. The first day I ever signed up for internet back in 1999. I installed Merck. Because it was on the starter disk my ISP gave me. And joined a random chat room. Over the course of the next year the regulars in that room became like family to me. We would talk about everything. All that practice made me a fast typist and way better communicator than I was before that. They would even help me when I had trouble understanding something in my college classes. I also met my husband in that room. And we've been happily married for 18 years. Others from our little like family are married, too. And we still keep in touch. All because I randomly chose that chat room that day. At a university career fair and just has a long day taking to companies and heading out when I see a Honda booth. Designing cars would be awesome but there is a huge line. It has been a long day, and what are the chances? But wait, they are giving away hats and shirts and model cars, so I talk to them. A day later I get a call back for an online assessment. I fill that out and don't hear anything back for a month or so. The I get a call one night saying I was an alternate and someone cancelled last minute so they want to fly me up for on site interviews. I go and end up getting and accepting an offer. After graduation I move about 1000 miles away from home for my new job where a few years after I meet my now wife and we have two kids. I never would have crossed paths with her otherwise. So the entire course of my life was shifted because Honda gave away good swag at their career fair booth. I went to a career fair one day, as I wanted to get a job in the IT field. I was in school, IT tech, I know, for computer networking, saw a stand for a gas station chain and thought to myself, I don't want to work at a gas station and kept on going. Passed out my resume and had a good talk with a local company that a few of my classmates worked, was about to leave and passed the gas station stand again, but this time I saw it on their poster, decided to just see what the it was about and dropped off my resume, talked with the recruiter and was told about a department that needed an intern. I got an interview for a position and it was more of a this is what you will be doing and this is what it pays, when can you start? 13 years later I'm still working for a gas station chain and really enjoying it. My parents dream was to have a famous child. When my older sister's figure skating career ended in her early 20s, the spotlight shifted to me. I was a fine oboist, and took private voice lessons with intent to audition for the local music faculty, opera, in any case. There was a lot of pressure, and while I was successful at school and classical music, it was never enough. At 17. Before senior year began, my sister gifted me a kitten. My parents had given her two in her senior year and the implication was that it was my turn. When my sister dropped me off, my parents locked me out, saying that if I wanted my own pet I needed my own place. So I found one that night. I worked three jobs to support myself through senior year and graduated with entrance scholarships to both of the local universities. I couldn't afford a music degree while living on my own even with the entrance scholarships, and good thing, entering the workforce showed me how much I love active jobs. Three years later, I enrolled in college and became an industrial mechanic millwright, to my parents great shame. After a few years of this I landed a sweet contract where I work on Saturdays and Sundays but receive a full week's pay. Although I am a living beacon of disappointment, I comfort myself with my 100k a year job, 2 day work week, and 2 cats. Being kicked out over a kitten saved me from wasting years chasing an improbable career just to please my parents. My wife got an email from her old colleagues the day we returned home from our honeymoon, asking if she wanted to star in a short film they were doing for fun. She said sure, and asked if I could come along, as she knew I had an interest in movies, but at the time I worked in life insurance and was miserable. 
It was more than an interest I had always wanted to make films, but never made the right connections with people and didn't know where to start. I made friends with the producer of that short film my wife was in. And 11 years later filmmaking and video production is my career. I've shot feature films, short films, video for TV and web, and all over the world because of that one email to my wife, changed our lives, oh, and that original short film never got finished lol. At 15 I decided to stay home to play a soccer match rather than go babysit for my aunt and uncle, as a result my uncle went out alone, took a shortcut home, fell into a river and drowned. I have one for another person, in 2014. I was coaching my twins, MF, rec flag football team. My oldest player has a younger sister who came to watch a practice we will call her Grace. She saw my daughter on the team, told her dad there's a girl on that team, and the next week, she was on my roster. Her and my daughter became fast friends. While the flag football season was wrapping up, I was putting together my roster for the upcoming rec volleyball team. At the end of one of my practices, my daughter invited Grace to play on the volleyball team together. Grace had played the previous season and not cared for it too much. Grace agreed and played from rec to club then to high school with my daughter. My daughter graduated last year and I watched Grace as captain lead her team to a state championship and she has a D1 scholarship for volleyball next fall. I chose to rearrange the sequence of classes slightly before starting my education. By doing this. I had to commute to a different branch of the school in a different town than the one I was originally signed up for. On my first day there, I helped a girl who had managed to break both of her arms in a drunken shopping cart accident. I learned later, this girl, whom I would absolutely never have met had I not changed my classes around, is my wife through 14 years. The other day I was driving home from work, traffic was light and I was behind a car with a number plate that started KFD. Decided to duck through KFC drive through for chippies with extra salt as a little treat to myself. They took forever to bring them out and by the time they finally did. All told about 10 minutes later. Traffic has slowed to a complete halt. I need to get over a bridge that's normally 6 lanes which has now been reduced to 1. Turns out it's due to a massive collision involving several cars. When I finally get to the point where I'm driving past. I notice the number plate on one of the cars, that same KFD number plate. If I hadn't stopped to get hot chips I'm fairly sure I'd have been in a major collision. TL. Dr. KFC chippies with extra salt saved my life. I was given to start dates for an entry level job in a large organization. The date I choose to start led to working in a small but high profile team so I got lots of exposure with senior management and I became the can do guy who'd fix a million tiny problems. That recognition led to promotions, a fantastic career, further professional qualifications and working overseas for several years. I also met my best friend and my partner. If I'd chosen the other date I'd have been sent to a data processing pool and been fairly anonymous. I was given to start dates for my new job in March. If I had chosen the earlier one, I would have come into the office for a week before we all went on WFH due to COVID. Instead I started on the WFH start date and had my computer mailed to me. My desk was next to a person on my team who turned out to have COVID. He's young, 31, just a couple years younger than me but has been out of commission and working part time because of how tired he's been due to the illness. Even months out. If I had chosen the earlier start date I would have been seated right next to him in a tiny cow walking space for a week. I made a dumb Facebook post because I was bored. Like for a tbh. A girl liked the post and I sent her a message. 8 years later. We are now married. In Afghanistan. What's done with my coffee. So I passed on a trip from one base to another. There was another convoy a few hours later. Most everyone died who took the first convoy. My second cup of coffee wasn't even cold when I found out. There was this rainy day that flooded a small piece on the street on the way to my now ex-GF house. She had to stay over the night. Now I'm someone's father. Went for a kebab. Ended up with a wife and three kids. Decided to approach a girl in a wheelchair in a bar because I thought it was cool of her to be out and about having a good time. We become bar buddies. A week later she brings a friend with her. I get along with the friend. We start dating. We marry. We have a daughter. Had I not said hi to the wheelchair lady that night, I wouldn't have the most precious things in my life right now. 
I was parking my car on the street and was about to shut it off but I noticed my car got pretty dirty last time I parked under that tree. Usually I don't care but I drove forward another space. The next day I came outside and my car's rear suspension was damaged and tires were bent. Someone had smashed into it and took off. I went on to spend about $500 in repairs and my insurance couldn't cover it unless I found out who did it. I was very upset I couldn't go to work and the tow truck driver pointed out that a neighbor had cameras up. I went as a last resort to ask those neighbors if they caught anything. The next day they emailed me footage of a vehicle that hit my car and parked a few houses up. They found the vehicle and took pictures of the damages too. I ended up getting $4,000 from their insurance company. Just wanted to try a cigarette when I was young. Now I'm barely surviving without it. In high school I read House of Leaves and one day was trying to explain the concept of the book to a friend. My drama teacher overheard. Said it sounded a bit like Pale Fire by Vladimir Nobokov. On his recommendation I read that book which sparked an interest in Russian literature. Then I branched out from there, always seeking out new reading opportunities. My quest to find more reading led me to major in English and become a teacher myself. Being a teacher at a title I school has had a huge impact on my political philosophy as well. So basically I am who I am today because my drama teacher suggested a book to me. I sent a message to a girl in high school just asking if she was alright, which led to dating her for almost 3 years, during which time she convinced me to try the drama club she went to, which convinced me to take drama class the following year, which made me take it the next year, where I met my next girlfriend, who introduced me to the friends I have today, and if I hadn't met them, I wouldn't still feel sick from drinking on Saturday night. Moral of the story, never message a girl, you'll wake up 4 years later with a hangover. Two years ago I was in a hospital for a week due to acne and was extremely bored. The wifi was slow, so I asked my mom to bring me a sketchbook and pencils so I could draw. I am now starting a career as an artist animator.